guys, the Merry Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Base. And as you can see, I've continued on from last episode. I'm doing back to back recordings today, and um, we are going to get going with um, some of the stuff I was saying at the end of last episode, which is sorting out this corner here, and at the same time, trying to build up our, um, our colony. I would like to get up to a hundred colonists today. So then we get another milestone done and then it's just not too far away from going pretty much. So um, what we need to do is I want to get, I might do the bars for, oh, should I do the bars first? Maybe not. Big trading ship, what do we got? Um, you don't have what I'm looking for. Um, but I will, Screw it. You know what? I'm going to buy the robots. I know it's incredibly expensive to buy those drillers. I normally try and make them myself. But, um... I would like to get some more drillers because I think I don't have that many left anymore. Um, but yes, so what I would like to do is we're going to continue um, building over here. So what I need to do is we're going to go canteens and we're going to get some large ones. And we're going to go right here and we're just going to go one connecting here and this one's gonna these ones are gonna be food holders these ones so these ones are gonna have our food in it for them and then we can do another canteen right next to it water storage is low if water storage is going low that means we are running out of um, water that's normally yeah that's normally my sign that we're about to have a water grid issue yeah there we go we're consuming too much. We need another water extractor pretty much. So let's get... Can I fit another one? I'm hoping I can fit... Yes, I can fit another one out here. So, solar flare hitting soon. Okay. Thank you. They will let me know. And what I need to do is chuck this back into slower form. Um, and what we need to do is I'm actually going to tell everyone to go inside now because some of these robots are really far away from um, an actual entrance. So we're going to tell everyone to get inside because these guys have to drive all the way around and I don't want them getting too damaged in the solar flare. Um, I know this is pretty close to getting built. I think solar flare is just coming in now, which is good. So most of these robots... Don't know why you're going the long way around. There's an entrance right there, you dumbasses. And that just makes them get damaged quicker, which is really frustrating. Um, but yeah, but whilst that's happening, we can still plan what we were planning. So we can do another canteen running off it right here. And could you actually get a third? It looks like I can get a third there for some reason. Yeah, you kind of can over here. So yeah, what I want to do as well is I need to go canteen. Ooh, that was not good. Two colonists just died. Great. Alright, um, so I need to go here and I'm just going right here and we're going to put him here and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I feel like the solar flare has finished, so let's go security and go no alert, so we don't have to listen to that annoying beeping, and let's go over here, jeez, they're not really doing their jobs well today, um, trying to stop these meteors, are they, um, so that's that, we're going to get that, we've got another trading ship here, um, you're just the normal all one, you know what, I, I, want, I kind of want to disable trading at the moment, just so I can get more colonists, because I'm trying to get us up to 100 this episode. So we've got 26 biologists, which is good. Um, probably another load would be nice to like, get us up to 30. Um, so then we've got more there. And then if I could get some bars down here would be nice, just to fill in this little bit here. Um, I think that could be a good location for the next medical ward right here. So if I go here and go next medicine right there, then that water storage is like, I thought I told these guys to make this. Yeah, they just made it there. There we go. So how's that? How's my grid looking now? Okay-ish. It's not the best. Um, I don't really have too much more room for these guys in this area, which is annoying because it means I'm going to have to relocate my uh, to a new area for water storage, um, which we could probably just put down over here, I guess. Because um, they're not going to get in this area. So we probably could just like 
link him off here and just wrap him around down here so then they're kind of in line in a way so that might be the best thing to do um some of these guys are getting really tired i need to probably make another entrance out over here that's um something i probably should do as well um do i have room for an airlock yes i do okay so that works perfectly so we'll get an airlock go here and then we will get the medicine there and then that kind of helps them so they can kind of get on this side to build so they don't have to walk so far around building everything. Um, I'm trying to figure out how many people can I actually fit in here. That's 28 per room. So that's 56. Oh, someone died. 84. So I can kind of suffice for 84 people. Um, always the medics. The medics always die. I don't know why. It's just, I think they're just shit. So, um, <laughs> I think they just don't have good stats. And when they try and help out too much, they, um, they don't perform too well, um, which is really frustrating. Um, but that's okay. Like, um, that at least gets this area a tiny bit done. We've got their leisure nicely set up, which I'm happy about. Um, we'll get some bars set up over here. Um, so then we can, then we're at least producing one of every single type of item in the game. Another person's died, I presume. That would be another medic. Um, yep, another medic. It's very common. Um, let's just double check this one out. 31, I probably should have turned you off. So we're going to now... No, we're going to build up the medics because they're dying off quickly for me. Which is annoying because I bet that was another one. No, that was an engineer this time. Why? You're all dying aspiration because you're walking too far away. Because what they're doing is they're walking all the way from here around there and they're not entering this bloody door here which i don't know why um so hopefully by getting this door over here will stop deaths um well that's the plan hopefully <laughs> um i'm hoping that can be the case so um in here we're gonna get um more of these canteens going so we're gonna go bang like this and we're just gonna get a whole bunch of these built now because yeah it's important to have um, enough areas for food for these guys. So then we can go here. I've got another entrance, so I'm hoping now that they will use it. Will this robot use it? I question, like, will he... I think he... He does not go around... Yes, there we go. I was about to say, if he did not go through that and went all the long way around, I would have been pissed because then it's just stupid. Alright, and we do this, and do that, and then at least that's more places for we can make more food, and just increases my ability to make more food, which is good, and which is what I want. Um, that's that. How are we doing? I think we just had some medics dropped off. Yep, we're at 9. I want to kind of get to 12 or 15. Um, that seems about fair, a fair number. Um, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'd like to go... Um, like this. So, and then we need to go water. And I always have water spread around everywhere in these places because you just, when you have a huge amount of people, um, you need to make sure you can, um, there's a drinking fountain available for everyone. That's what I always try and make sure is that there's at least a drinking fountain available for um everyone even though i doubt it that i'm gonna have like 300 people drinking at the same time it's just i think it's just a safety precaution because it's one of the key things they need to survive so we just make sure that they actually have it um and then how do i do this i normally do the bed first don't i yes so we'll do this again and we'll get the bed here and then we'll go you then nope um, no, I screwed that up two times in a row. So we'll go bed here, and then I'll do bed here, and bed here, and I think I can probably... No, let's recycle you, then do you, then you, then we can do two of these on each side, and then you get another bed in the center. There we go. So then it fits, I think they fit four or five each? Four, so it's 12 that you can get. Um, 12 um like medicine packs in there each in each room but um yeah i'm happy with the way how the base is expanding it's going fast um we must have, yes we just hit the century so let's have a look at our base 
There we go. Your colony now has 100 citizens, and that's what I was aiming for in this episode. And that's the achievement there, Moon Base, um, which is awesome. It's another achievement to unlock on the list, which is great. Um, let's just check this. Medics is now at 18, so we do not need that many medics. Um, I actually, actually know we should be chucking up the guards, not the guards, the uh, workers. That's the next thing. I want 30 of those, and then I want to get these guys probably up to 30 as well. And then, yeah, we can go from there. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, what we've achieved this episode so far. Like, um, we finally hit the 100 colonists. Uh, we're trying to wait for these guys to at least get this done. How are we actually doing on supplies? I think that's what's slowing us down. There's only one of them free. This uses a lot of plastic metal. There's 47 free. So we're producing a lot of metal, which is good. Um, that's always great. Um, we can be doing more plastic, really. But we need the workers to be pushing it. So when we get more workers, that will... That'll um, help that, so yeah, we'll get these workers to start pushing that. Um, they've built that, so what we can actually do is we'll get the bars placed down now. So if I go, I want a bar like here. Um, nope. Bugger, come on. <laughs> um, actually, that might be out of range. I should, I should check into that stuff. Um, let's look into another bar uh, here. This is kind of all not being straight anymore for me, which is annoying. Um, and another bar right here. So then we can go connect there. And then I will connect those two eventually. Um, let's just check this. This is, nope, this is all still in protective range. This is all still in protective range besides this one. And then we have another one all the way over here, which I can't click on there we go um yeah so there's only a few of them but yeah see our power supply it's like it's like ooh, it's um ah really really game it's all right i got pretty i got a decent amount of guards now so they're always going to take them on pretty well um but yeah these guys are going to start building that which is good so then we're going to get some bars going um which i'll be happy with and then maybe get another living quarters somewhere um Maybe actually we can get 11 quarters tucked away in this corner over here, which would be nice. Um, and then we kind of need to fill in this area, which I'm kind of thinking just more storage. Um, I feel like that could be the split in the base. Because as I said, how I'm thinking about doing two sides of the base, where you kind of have um, two biodome areas, two um, manufacturing areas, and two mining areas, and all that sort of stuff. And um, pretty much this is like the stuff in the middle um, that I'm thinking. So that might be how I do this, because we do still have a huge amount of land. Um, and I want us to use it. We're going to have obviously spent, need to spend some more on power and all that sort of stuff. So that's why I'm not going to probably go past like this line here. And then this area over here can be more power collectors and water extractors. Like water extractors are going to go from up here and down and here. Uh, power collectors, I'm hoping I can wrap around this. But um, the issue is I can't get another power collector in this spot here, which is really annoying me. Um, I can get a power collector, I think... No, I can't even get it there. That's the annoying part. And then I can't wrap it around here because of the wall. So I'm trying to get them in here. But um, it's proven to be incredibly annoying. For some reason, it does not want to connect. Um, I need to kind of fiddle around with mines. And um, like shave away this wall a tiny bit. That's um, something I need to start doing. Uh, I'll do a tiny bit of it maybe now. But I think the last time I looked at this, it was a bit difficult to to actually get this to happen because um, it's in an awkward spot where it's not really going to shave away anything for me, which is annoying. Um, well, this is colonists here, so let's chuck this into more fast forward because it would have gone down because of the intruders. And uh, let's have a look. We have got 16 workers. So I'm trying to get this up to 100. And, I'm trying to get this up to 30, but really, I've only got enough beds for about 80 something so I can't go really when I get the works I'm gonna have to stop a tiny bit like I know we don't need to have 300 beds but we're probably gonna have to have close to about 200 180 because um yeah oh yeah these guys are all we all waiting for plastic and that's what we're waiting on at the moment we have really no plastic um let's raise the duties in plastic building then um because we've got a lot of metal which is good but yeah we've got also a shit ton of starch and it's not getting used. So actually, I might raise... Uh, I only had two plastic, didn't I? And two metal. So yeah, so pretty much 
all these guys. Pretty much I'm going to just turn all these into make shit tons of because they need to. Um, and yeah, we probably will get try and go from 30 um, workers to eventually go up to 50. Um, I would like more engineers as well first um, before I jump and maybe just get them up to 25, 30. And then we can jump um, workers back up to, uh, not back up to, but up to 50. Um, because yeah, we need to um, keep expanding and keep going. So I might have to wait a little bit before I get some more plastic in that. Because um, it seems like that's um, being a little bit of a stubborn issue at the moment with the helping expand the base. Uh, because if I want to do um, some storage here, if, the, if I can get like two or three storage... Um, Massive storage places here, they're expensive. And then if I want to do more dorms over here as well, yeah, it's, it's, and then possibly like do another row of storage and yeah, it's going to prove to be a bit of a pain in the booty because, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, going to take a while to get all that built. But anyway, I think I'm going to call the episode here, here guys. I think uh, we're at a decent time for the episode and such. So I will connect to that. Uh, so they build that for me. And, um, yeah, hopefully the next episode we can do some more expansions on this and uh, keep raising our uh, capacity. And I'm hoping by the end of next episode or before the start of next episode, I'll have all the techs. So um, that could be another achievement down for this um, map. So as usual, guys, thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So catch you later, guys.